I'm in Fallow Blue Art Gallery in Eshnala Beach with Mary Zia and your companion Oliver who's joining us. Yes, thank yes. you. Thank you so, for coming. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. It's pretty cool to have a, a local art gallery here. And, um, just looking around at the work, I'm mesmerized. Like I, I can't stop looking at everything. It's all really neat. So uh, start off by telling us kind of how you got involved with uh, art. You're an artist yourself and some of your work showcased here. Yes. Well, I went to art school outside of New York City, graduated from SUNY Purchase. I was a printmaking major and I still do printmaking. I've got a printing press at my house in my little studio. I do etchings and monotype. Um, and then I started painting a few years ago, and I did uh, the Sunset Beach Market, and that okay. was very successful, although it was a little bit difficult for me personally because I like to paint, and I have got mm -hmm. big canvases, and it's really difficult to, you know, break them all down, all to the market. home to the market, set it up, and it's kind of, you know, I was constantly, you know, dinging this and having to fix a canvas. Yeah. and. It was just too much. Um, I couldn't do it by myself. My husband had to help me. And so it was kind of like he had to take the day off from work to come and help me. So, mm -hmm. But I really wanted to set up a gallery for a long time. And I, I finally, this summer, I decided now that the, my children are grown and they don't need me anymore, they're off right. on their own, that it was time to do it. My husband said to go for it. It was very supportive. and. I found this location, I thought it would be perfect for what I wanted to do, and so I just did it. Mm -hmm. And um, I had been working in, Sun in Calabash at the Sunrise Pancake House for the last 11 years, and uh, you know, it was great, um, met a lot of people, had a lot of friends, it was hard to leave my good friends behind. But um, I've always been an artist and I've always wanted to actually mm -hmm. try to make a living doing artwork and I met a lot of artists along the way and I have a lot of artist friends mm -hmm. from New York so I called upon my friends and I called upon my new artist friends down here a lot of them are at the marketplace and a lot of since I've opened a lot of artists actually come into the gallery and you know check end up out. to check it out yeah. and they end up showing their work here and that's uh -huh. been great I've met a lot of people doing that and now here I am, uh, just opened the gallery in September. Okay, yeah, that makes for a very diverse uh, selection here. You yeah. have paintings, uh, different kinds of paintings, different uh, mediums, media, and also sculptures yeah. and different, all kinds of different stuff. Tell us about what you paint. I know you have your workshop here up front. Yeah, I've got a little studio here and I have a studio back at the house. Um, mostly I do abstract acrylic okay. paintings and I do printmaking. Um, my abstract paintings are what I'm concentrating on right now. Mm -hmm. I've kind of developed a new love for painting. Um, I've done oils and watercolors. I just like to try different mediums, mm -hmm. um, but the painting is what, what I really enjoy. Okay, how about some of the other artists that are featured here in the gallery? Uh, I've got some, most of it, well, this room here where we're at is mostly the paintings, but mm -hmm. got some really fun. Yeah, that's really neat. Yeah, that's uh, Lisa and Steve Hildebrand, and they do these incredible outdoor garden sculptures, mm -hmm. and they have uh, plenty of um, indoor-outdoor sculptures as well, very whimsical. They use old found materials. Um, I've got a lot of pottery. I've got four different potters. They're all local, um, very different from each other. Got Holly Scott, she's in Carolina Shores. She's an incredible potter. Um, got Clarice Falconer, she works in porcelain. Um, most of these, like I said, are people from the market. So you'll see okay. their work around in local mm -hmm. local um, pop-up markets, local okay. markets. And so do you still gallons. do the market occasionally when it's... Um, uh, I don't know sunset. if I, I I might still do the summer. Yeah, I'm not go, I'm not going to commit to every week, mm -hmm. but I might do a market here and there. Okay. Cause just because it's fun, um, and I have to you know get to meet some people. Yeah, you get to meet a lot right. of people. It's fun to talk to the, right. the tourists. You know, you start yeah. talking, and a lot of people from you know New York, where I'm from, 
and you yeah. just keep talking and, and you you know and a lot of the so other, much in common. Some of the other artists that are featured here at your gallery yeah. still go to the market. That's oh, absolutely. Thursdays, yeah. Thursday mornings. And absolutely. Their their work time. is in the market, the, in all the local markets. And it's it's great that their work can be here mm -hmm. all the time. That way, you know, they don't just sell their work, you know, when they have mm -hmm. those market days, that it's always available. Okay. Mary, I'd like to ask you about your creative process and kind of what you go through when you're trying to, you know, come up with a new piece. I know you were telling me about uh, um, if somebody wants to have a piece of art commission, that you're able to do that and do some custom work if somebody's uh, Absolutely. looking for it. Yes. Um, people come in and they have a photograph that they really like. They take a fantastic photograph of the sunset on Sunset Beach. Right. Or whatever and they have a certain size that they're thinking about I can I can do that for them um, I have that my abstract style but I love to do sunsets and mm -hmm. and scenery um, if they have a if they have a more specific idea of something that I'm not capable of doing if it's not my style I've got artists that right. I can refer them to I've got some very excellent realist artists um, who do mm -hmm. watercolor and oil painting. Um, my style is very laid back, loose, abstract, more yeah. contemporary. Um, when I start to do a painting, if, I, if I'm not working on a specific piece for somebody, I usually start with an idea. I have a, a general idea in the color scheme that I want to do. Mm -hmm. And then with the abstract, I, I start to work on it, and then at some point the painting kind of takes over its own and becomes more of, um, I, I don't really know exactly how it's going to turn out. It kind of transcends it into its own idea. It's like I have it. It's hard to explain. When, <laughs> you, when you're doing abstract, yeah. it's like you have, <laughs> you have an idea of what you're going for, and then as you start working, the painting kind of directs you into a new direction mm -hmm. or it takes on a, a whole new idea. I like how you say laid back. That's a really cool um, adjective to describe your work. And I, I feel like that's a, a lifestyle that people that are moving here are looking for. And when they're decorating their home or, or you know, their space, they're looking for art that really um, speaks to that. And your work that's here, uh, I can I can see that oh, <laughs> for sure. You. Yeah. So uh, your shop is uh, right here on 179, right in Ocean Isle Beach, kind of in between Ocean Isle and Sunset. Yes, it's right on the border of Sunset Beach. Right. I mean the planetarium. Just, yeah, just and, east of the food line. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. The, the Walgreens CVS corner. Yeah. It's right there. So. Okay. Yeah, tell us our, and our viewers where they can find you online and phone number as well. Um, it's thalobluegallery.com and the phone number is 910-209-6025. Uh -huh. um, the, I'm on Facebook, I'm mm -hmm. on Instagram. So people can get updates so, of what you're working on and what you have here there. Absolutely. I try, I, right. I try to post um, new work every day. Uh -huh. uh, I'll try to get all the artists work up there on the website. There's you can find out a little little history about the artists, <laughs> where they live, um, where they went to school, where they study, what kind of work they do. Okay. Well, Mary, thank you so much for inviting us here to your to Fellow Blue. Thank you. And uh, it was nice meeting Ollie as well. I'm sure thank he'll you. be here and he loved to meet everybody yes, that was watching too. He's my buddy and he loves everybody who comes <laughs> in, especially if they have a dog. Yeah. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> thank you.